Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take the latest news coming in from the camp of Ghana, Black Meteors team. Next game for us is the final game of the group. That is Ghana versus Guinea. This is going to be the final game for us. And we have to win, else we'll be out of this group. Yes, that is how things are going. And it is going to be tough. The coach of the side, Ibrahim Tanko, who disappointed Ghanaians, Together with the players, they all disappointed us yesterday in the game against Morocco. He has spoken. What did he say? We will check it out in this video. NS Nuama Apia, very fantastic player who scored the first goal for us in the tournament. He has also spoken ahead of the last game. And we have the striker, that is 99 ideas. Imano Yeboah, he has also spoken ahead of our next game. We'll talk about everything that the players have said in this video. We'll also take the latest news coming in from the camp of Kudus Mohammed. Kudus, his club is he joining in the EPL? We will talk a little on that. Then Thomas Teparte, he is closer to joining Juventus because um, Arsenal has now concluded the signing of Declan Rice and it is about to be announced as a final deal for Arsenal. We have a lot of transfer news on Osikeni TV+. Plus. Yes, so if you want to check out all the latest transfer um, news, the confirmed one, rumors and the ongoing ones, just subscribe to Osikeni TV+. Plus. That is where Oscar Tabres We'll be bringing you all the latest updates around the world of sports. So that is it, guys. Let's dive into this one. Before then, can you drop us a like? Like the video after that. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Put on the post notification bell on all for more updates on this channel. Also, try and leave a comment under the comment box. In our next video, I'll bring you shout outs as well. So let's quickly look at this. Now, after Ghana, we were humiliated, we were humbled, we were demolished. And abysmal performance at the Prince Mole Stadium yesterday. The coach of the side, Ibrahim Tanko, has blamed it on fatigue. That is what he actually highlighted after the game. And um, I, I, in particular, was really shocked that the coach will go that tangent because, well, uh, Morocco had two days rest. We had only one day, but we cannot blame everything on that. You know, looking at some changes he made in the starting lineup and others. This is what the coach said after the game. He said it is a deserved win for Morocco, but we had a day rest and they had two days of rest. The players showed fatigue. Um, okay, he continues to say we showed them a lot of respect and they punished us for that. We still have a chance to qualify and we will work on it and try to get a win against Guinea. Okay, finally, he added that you saw how Congo also suffered same fate because Guinea had an extra day to rest. Now, we have two days before we play our next match and we will make good use of it. Both Ghana and Guinea stand a chance of making it to the next stage so both teams will prepare and um, will prepare well for the game. Definitely, we want to win and qualify to the next stage. That is what the coach said after the game yesterday. So yes, he said that Congo also suffered because they also had only a day rest and Guinea had two days. That is why Guinea defeated them. But to be honest with you, if you look at the kind of game Guinea played against Morocco in the, in the opening game, eh, it will tell you that Guinea is a strong side. I've told you already, they eliminated Nigeria, so we shouldn't play with them at all. They are a fantastic side moving forward. So let's talk about you know the next player, and that is Ernest Nuama Apia. He has also spoken ahead of the game against Guinea. He said this after yesterday's game. I have nothing to say. It is football. It happens. I think we came with our game plan, but it went their way. That is what he said in there. He added that our next game is very important. We know that if we don't win, then we don't qualify. So we are really coming in for it. That is what NS Norma also added after yesterday's bad loss too. Morocco. Now, let me talk about, you know, the striker. Then we look at Kudus and Thomas Teipate. Now, the striker, 99 ideas. Yes, he also posted this on his official Twitter account. He said, in all things, we give thanks to the Lord, not the results we wanted. Very disappointing, but God knows best. We live to fight another day for God and country. Eid Mubarak. I'm happy Eid Adha to all my Muslim brothers and sisters all over the world. Still, a Jana award to me. So, yes, he says that, um, you know, it didn't go well, but we give thanks to the Lord. And that is from the 99 Idea Striker. Now, let's finally talk a little on Kudus Mohammed. Then we also look at, um, you know, Thomas Teparte Kudus. 
clubs are coming in for him. Yes, most of the EPL clubs are interested in him. We know of Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United, Newcastle. They have all shown interest with the player. But two clubs are now really serious. One is Brighton and Hove Albion. They, according to multiple reports, are preparing a bid to um, you know, Ayas for Kudos Mohamed. Ayas has priced him around 45 million euros. So let's wait and see how things will go. Everton, today, they have also renewed their interest in the play. I brought you updates on this channel already this particular morning. Now, um, Thomas Tepate is also close to joining Juventus because Arsenal, according to um, David Austin as well as Fabrizio Romano, you know, when these two guys meet in terms of transfer news, you know that, yes, it is very concrete. According to them, Arsenal, they have tabled 100 million euros for um you know declan rice to come from west ham and it is a huge amount of money you know so this means that they are bringing in declan rice and possibly they are going to cash in on thomas their party because the team won't party to move on ateta wants party to move on and it's really surprising last season party playing about 33 games contributing scoring three goals he did fantastic work for arsenal but hey the club has decided to let the player go so yes Juan Pate is close to Johnny Juventus as he wants to continue playing European football. But clubs from Saudi Arabia are also showing interest. According to the earlier report, we had 200 million euros has been tabled down for Thomas Ter Pate for two-year contracts, 100 million a year. And if that deal is true, I think Pate doesn't even need to think about it because 30 years and you are going to get two, um, you know, 200 million within two years never take chance on that so yes guys that's it these are the latest news let me know your thoughts under the comments box don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel lest i forget ghana versus guinea is on the 30th 30th two days now i mean you know two days from now and it is going to happen 8 p.m like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this was kenny tv and of course we shall meet later <laughs>